Bardock, father of Goku. <laughs> Is this how Bardock got his star? Is that an apple with hair? Oh, that wasn't Bardock. It was Leek. That's funny. Oh, there's Bardock. Yeah, he looked tough. Oh, he made. He thought back to Gine missing his Goku's birth. Kakarot. They named him Kakarot, obviously. Oh, try to be quick because Frieza himself will be here soon. So I'm pretty sure this mission that he came back home from in the in the Broly movie was from this. That's crazy. Granola's mom's name is Mwesley. So Bardock had a heart, it felt like saving them. And that's why he had the one, the one shoulder, John. Ugh. Get a spin image of that Bardock fella. Huh, me? Bardock was none other than your father. Oh, Vegeta knows. Let's go. What a twist of fate. You're the man's son, then. This is the son of the one who saved me. Yes, I wish I knew a darn thing about my dad, but I can't say that I do. In any case, your soft-hearted nature clearly runs in the family. Gotta love it. You, you would think he got it from his mom or something. How come my mother didn't survive? Well, you see. All right, we'll go back to the flashback. Oh, the heaters. Damn, they've been around for a long time. And Bardock knew about them too, the freaking heaters. Look at that. They called Frieza that nasty lizard. So is Frieza a lizard? Is that, is that where the Frieza is? Oh no. Oh, he shot her. Damn, so he killed Granola's mom. Oh, Gas stopped Bardock. Wow. So Gas must have lost to Bardock. Since then, Gas has grown strong. Complete. Okay, so that was a chapter, wasn't it? What's going on, guys? Boy, Ooch back in once again, and uh, I moved. <laughs> Anyway, let's let's just get to the video. This time around, I wasn't able to actually give you guys a fully fledged reaction just due to the simple fact that my computer died. <laughs> Funny enough how we have come full circle to this point where literally a year ago, I got a brand new computer because, well, I moved initially and I didn't want to risk trying to travel with my computer I already had across the country. So I invested and got a new one. And that same one, Kind of just crapped out of me. I'm trying out reverting to an older style of how I used to make videos as far as using my old laptop over here, which I gotta say, I'm hoping that it can handle this much because I'm not sure when I'll be able to get another video out between now and the time of my new computer, which hopefully is very soon. In any case, I'm here to give you guys my thoughts on the latest chapter, Dragon Ball Super, chapter 77. This one was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was exactly what I expected as far as getting a backstory. The story itself was really dope. It was all Bardock, and it was pretty much showcasing Bardock's true soft side within himself, despite him being a badass and a dope-ass character that we know him to be. We also got confirmation that Vegeta pretty much connected and tied up the knot as far as, you know, the confusion of are they gonna even know that that was Goku's dad? With the dialogue that they had with Monaito, it pretty much confirmed it because he was like, you are the spitting image of the guy that kind of just saved us. What's great about that is now we kind of have that seed planted where if they were to ever have some sort of a curiosity or anything of the like, Maybe Goku now has a purpose or a reason to even dive into his Saiyan roots a little bit deeper. But I don't think that's really going to happen anytime soon. Because if we're going to look to the future, we have a new movie coming out. Super, 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 super hero. In any case, this chapter was filled with backstory. And it actually had two separate backstories that all tied together. Because it was like the chapter started out with backstory. Then it went came back to the present time. Because Granola was in complete shock and was like, dude, like what? Like, I... This a saiyan saved me and it was his dad like it's kind of funny so then when they go back to this backstory granola asks the question well if we survived by this saying how come my mom didn't survive and then they go back to the backstory to basically show that it was in fact the heaters the heaters freaking killed this dude's mom and that was kind of od i didn't expect for that to even be a thing so i gotta give him some props because this story is actually kind of turning out to being a little bit better than what i originally have been predicting it to be and speculating it to turn out to be. Obviously, we'll be talking a lot more in depth about it on the Full Power Podcast when that time comes. 
so make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel and of course on wherever you list might listen to your podcast elsewhere whether it be spotify or apple or google because this podcast is definitely going to go way deeper into the chapter itself but i am looking forward to it this chapter wraps up with obviously the fact that they left us off a little bit of a cliffhanger i feel like there's still more backstory to show between gas and bardock because after they killed granola's mom what ended up happening was it looked like gas had a tuffle with bardock from what we can assume it does seem like bardock was the one that actually defeated them in order for them to maybe escape and obviously survive all this time through and through and it's been since then that gas has had some sort of revenge that he's gonna he's about to seek out on and quite possibly an even further tease to what this wish that they're gonna look to do actually is that might end up just being making gas the strongest in the universe because you know that's kind of the theme of this entire arc right now so i wonder if that's what it's going to turn into because i feel like we've all been speculating that this is the guy that they are going to have be the true big bad because i don't see the the main dude who's leading these heaters i don't see him being that guy that's going to be doing the fighting so this arc is going to be around for a, you know definitely a lot longer i anticipate it definitely lasting all the way up until the initial release date of the new movie that's upcoming we have a long ways to go but i am looking forward to seeing more and to seeing how this story fleshes out obviously in the next chapter and before i go i just want to say um rest in peace to chris Ayers, the recent voice of frieza and uh yeah i you guys really know that i'm not a fan of death i hate death and to see somebody that you know meant a lot to a lot of different people all across the world in the anime community and the voice acting communities and whatnot this dude definitely left a presence with a lot of people and um i didn't want to make my own video to kind of be like going with the trend of being like a clickbaity kind of thing because I didn't want to disrespect him like that because I don't want to make it seem like I was one of his biggest fans or just to jump on the bandwagon, you know what I'm saying? It is sad nonetheless and I really wish that he could have healed properly because for those that didn't know, Mans recorded his Frieza lines while he was like at 50% lung capacity or something. You guys can go check out Geekdom's Twitter for more um, of a direct insight on that because Geekdom was friends with him. And like, it's really it's a really sad time. So uh, to wrap this video up, I just wanted to give my condolences to the family of Chris Ayers, to all his friends, his loved ones, and to wish him um, a nice resting in peace time from here on out. And we will never forget Mr. Chris for all of his amazing work voicing Frieza and anything else that he might have done in his career. So you'll definitely miss Never Forgotten. Frieza already is a beloved character and villain, and we haven't even seen Frieza in this arc yet, so I'm pretty sure it'll be very bittersweet for a lot of um, North American fans for sure, um, or anyone that watched or listened to the English dub that he worked on. So thank you guys. Um, for watching, please stay tuned for more. Full Power Podcast coming up. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.